Hi, welcome back to Clement Pilates channel. Today, I'm thinking that spring is in the air and maybe the garden needs um, some tending to. So I thought we'd run through a little session with gardeners in mind. I mean, it's not exclusive to gardeners, but with gardeners in mind, just thinking about releasing the spine um, and getting a little bit of movement through the hips and maybe the upper body as well. So if that sounds about right for you, then join me. We're gonna start in lying um, on our backs on the mat. So find yourself a little bit of space, make sure you're wearing something comfy. All right, and we'll start in our relaxation position. We're gonna have our feet hip width apart, our legs are bent and parallel. All right, I want you to find those hip bones. Yes, left and right. And we're just gonna to start to gently rock back into a pelvic tilt and then roll forward, all right, arching that lumbar spine away from the mat. So just tilting the pelvis back and rolling forward. And I'll lift my arms up here just so you can see what's going on in my spine. So you can see that I imprint the lumbar spine as I roll the pelvis back and as I roll the pelvis forward, I get a little arch in my lumbar spine, yes? And, and that can get a little bit Bigger. you can take that into whatever range of movement yeah you feel like you have there in that lumbar spine and the ribcage can react and that is absolutely fine all right just come to a neutral pelvis where your hips are in line your pubic bones level with those hip bones and just give me a little hip hitch from side to side so drawing one side of your pelvis up towards the same side of your ribcage and then we're going to do a little roll from side to side as well, just allowing one side of your bottom to lift as the other side rolls into the mat. Yes, and just let those knees be quite free with this. Just getting a bit of gentle rocking from side to side across the back of your pelvis. And then again, we'll bring ourselves level. And now I want you to imagine you've got a marble in between your two hip bones on, on your lower tummy. All right, and we're gonna roll that marble up towards our belly button. So you're in your pelvic tilt as we've just been finding. All right, you're then gonna roll that marble down to your right hip bone, round to your pubic bone. And my back is arched away from the mat. You're gonna come all the way around to that left hip bone. Yes, my right hip is lifted slightly and then back up to your belly button. We'll continue with that circle, just rolling round the pelvis and the lumbar spine. One more in this direction. All right, and roll that imaginary marble around that lower tummy. And then we're gonna take it back the other way. So you'll send it back the left side first and then round and to the right and up just circling that pelvis round, allowing the lumbar spine to react. Last one here. And then we're gonna bring it back into our relaxation position, neutral pelvis and spine. The sacrum's heavy on the mat, the ribs are heavy on the mat, nice, and in line with those hip bones. All right, arms just reaching by your side now, back to the arms and the palms of your hands connected to the mat. All right, feel your feet to the floor. Find that connection of the ball of the foot and the heel of the foot and your toes to the floor, a little lift through the arches of the feet. And when you're ready, I want you to take a breath in. And as you exhale, you're gonna tilt that pelvis back, find a little scoop of the abdominals and start to peel the spine up bone by bone, up towards the ceiling, yes, sending those hips up high, sending the knees away from you, finding that connection, the arms and the feet into the floor. And then as you breathe out once again, bone by bone, you're gonna bring that spine all the way back down the mat, all right? Three more, just like that. Find a little bit of center, find that pelvic tilt and then peel the spine up. Send those knees away, open the hips out towards the ceiling, take a breath in at the top. And as you breathe out bone by bone, we bring the spine all the way back down to the mat. Just rolling through to neutral. Two more, just like that, tilt the pelvis, peel that spine up. 
good guys well done really extend those hips at the top at the top there get a sensation of just activating the back of the leg so we're really lifting those hips up and then you're going to bring the spine down bone by bone last one coming up here to help the pelvis heal that spine up bone by bone send those knees away extend the hips really nice everybody and then bone by bone you're bringing spine all the way back down through to neutral good i want you to hug your right knee in towards you now just take hold of your shin or the back of your thigh whatever feels better for you and slide your left leg away from you down the mat all right and just breathe here take a moment straight out those hips as you breathe out, we're going to slide the left leg in, release the right and change sides. So we hug the left leg in and we send that right leg long. Good flex a stretch and breathe here. Breathing out and into that stretch, opening up through those hips. We'll do that once more on each side. Slide the right leg in, release the left and change. Good, breathe here. And once more, change the legs over, hugging those knees in towards you. All right, from here, release tension through those shoulders. Keep that left knee in towards you, but just bring the um, knee above the hip. All right, we're going to try and keep our hips completely level here. If you need to slightly soften that right leg and bend that right knee, that's fine. You can do that, okay, if that feels better in your spine. I want you to keep a neutral spine here as much as possible. Just let that foot flop towards the floor on the left-hand side. And we're going to circle this left knee, all right, starting small, keeping the hips as still as you can. And then we're going to gradually get that a little bit bigger. And a little bit bigger so you're getting a little bit more rotation in that left hip trying not to let those hips move all right and we'll take it back the other way circle it back the other way all right like you've got a pestle and mortar and you're just stirring that thigh bone round in your hip socket okay and then we'll make those circles a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller Good until you've got those tiny circles back at the top of that movement. Lovely. Place that foot down, slide it away, slide your right leg back in. Bring your knee above your hip and just let that chin drop, okay? Remember that supporting leg can be bent, okay, if that means you can stay more neutral in your spine. So you choose, okay? If you need to keep that straight leg bent, then please do. All right, so from here, hands on hips, we're going to start circling that knee round. Tiny circles to start off with. Remember, it's like that pestle and mortar joint. Yes, we're circling round, trying to get a bit of mobility in the hip joint, trying to keep the hips as still as we can. And then we start getting those circles a little bit bigger. I flex my ankle here because I feel my toes touch the mat and they get in the way. So adjust your ankle position if you need to. You can lift slightly away from the bottom if you need to one more in this direction and then we'll change take that knee back the other way find as much rotation in the hip joint as you can now good three more in this direction Keeping those hips as still as you can good and then you're going to bring that foot to the floor, slide that straight leg in and just hug your knees in towards you. Okay, tilt the pelvis back round that lumbar spine and just hug the knees in and release a couple of times, opening out that lumbar spine. And then I want you to take a little rock from side to side, just across from left to right, across the back of the pelvis. And then we're going to circle around that lumbar spine. So you're going to draw the knees in towards you slightly, circle around and away. So just circling around that lower back area. Two circles one way and then two the other. Circling around, release any tension you've taken into that lumbar spine there. Okay, from here, see if you can just send your knees wide, keep your feet together and just drop those feet into your bottom. And don't hold on to my ankles or you could hold on to your shins. And just encourage an opening through the inner thighs there. 
And again, just hold that and let the knees just fall wide and breathe. Lovely. When you're ready, we'll release that. All right. And you're going to bring yourselves up to a seated position. All right. Now, I would recommend if you have a block or a kneeling pad or something that gives you a little bit of height, I would recommend sitting on that. OK, just so we can get as neutral as possible through the spine. So coming to sit on your block, if not on the floor, but we want, to, we want to get as neutral as we can here. I'm going to put the soles of my feet together. I'm going to lift up as tall as I can through my spine. All right. I want you to push the soles of the feet together and, and just get a sensation of drawing your heels towards your sit bones. And in so doing, just getting a little bit more height through the spine. Think about the ribs just tucking back towards the hips very slightly and lengthening through the back of the neck. From this position, we're going to start this by raising our arms up and circling them wide and bringing them back down by our side. All right, just sitting up nice and tall, bring the arms forward. Reaching up, letting the shoulder blades move, the collarbones lift and circling those arms out and wide. Good. Two more just like that. Lift those arms up and circle them wide. Turn the palms behind you now. See if you can take those arms behind you slightly, extending the shoulder joint. And one more just like that. Lift those arms up and circle them wide. Turn the palms behind you and extend. Lovely. We're going to bring those arms forward one more time. Full shoulder flexion. Turn the palms away from you. Bend the elbows and draw the shoulder blades down. And then we're going to push back and lift. All right, bending the elbows, drawing the shoulder blades down the back and then pushing back up. Keep lift, keep that connection through your center. Keep that sensation of drawing the heels towards your bottom, okay, as you just bend the elbows and push them back up. Good, one more time, bend those elbows. They're in line with your shoulders. All right, we're gonna bring the elbows towards each other and then open back out. Good, bring the elbows towards each other and open back out. Good. And I want you to really let the shoulder blades move around the rib cage here. So as you bring the forearms together, let the shoulder blades come wide. And as you open the arms, really squeeze those shoulder blades together. Just two more here. And last one. And open that out. Lovely. Release the arms down and just circle your shoulders. All right. Forward, up, back and down. All right. Just rolling those shoulders out. And then we're going to take some side flexion through the spine. So from here, reach your fingertips wide. Keep that lift up through the crown of the head, all right? So we're nice and neutral through our spine here. One arm's floating up by your ear. As we breathe out, we're gonna open out that side of the body, just come to the side. Keep this top arm reaching up as straight as you can. Find a little side flexion here, breathe. And then lift it up, bone by bone, we stack the spine, float that arm down and we chain, the other arm floats up, palm comes in towards the midline of the body. And then over we go to the side. Leave those sit bones heavy on your block, or your book, or whatever you found to sit on, all right? And then lift it back up. You can always sit on a stool. You have one handy. One more to each side, lifting up. Find that reach through that top arm. Come over to the side, side flex your spine. Leave the sit bones heavy on the floor. Breathe here. And then lift it up. Step and change. Last one to the other side. Palm comes in towards the midline of the body at the top. And over we go to the side, head, neck, upper back. Leave those sit bones heavy. Keep the soles of the feet connected. And then lift it up and float that arm down. Good. Let's bring our arms just in front of our chest, all right? Low shoulder height. We'll take a little rotation here. You're going to turn to look over one shoulder, rotate your spine. Breathing, come back to centre. Keep growing tall through the crown of the head. Breathing out, rotate the other way. Good, breathe into centre. One more in each direction. Rotate head, neck, upper back. Round you go. Try and leave those sit bones where they are. Try not to flex through that lumbar spine now. Keep tall. Good, breathe in. Back to centre. Hands to the outside 
of your knees, all right? And I want you to just tuck the chin and we're gonna let the hands just roll down those legs towards your ankles and round your spine. Pull that belly button back, find a nice connection into center. And then you're gonna unravel and grow tall. All right, keep the soles of those feet together and off you go again, rounding the spine. Spine flex forward. Breathe, and then draw yourself back up. Good, one last one, just like that. Let the hands roll down the legs, flex the spine. Great, guys, and then bring it all the way back up. Take your hands and clasp them behind you, okay? Interlace your fingers. Let your hands just sit behind um, the back of your pelvis. All right, keep tall, keep a little bit centered. And I just want you to lift those arms up and away from the body, okay? Let me turn sideways on so you can see that a little better. All right, so we're just gonna lift up and extend the shoulder joint and lower that down. All right, lifting those arms away from the back of the body and lowering them down, extending through that shoulder joint. All right, two more just like that. Keep lifted, keep centered. Nice, and then release those arms down. All right, coming off that block, just pop back to one side, and we're gonna come into our four point kneeling position just to finish off this little um, section. Okay, so we're in four point kneeling, hands below shoulders, knees below hips, all right? We're gonna start with a little bit of cat and extended cat. We want to make sure we're neutral spine here. Keep connected up into your center. As you breathe out, you're gonna tuck the tailbone under and round the spine into a cat stretch. And then we're gonna lengthen the spine back out and extend the spine up. All right, come back through neutral, tuck the tailbone, round the spine, scooping those abdominals, letting the shoulder blades go wide on the rib cage, and then lengthen back to neutral. And then we'll flex the hips, we'll extend the spine and extend. Good, one more like that, tuck the tailbone, round your spine. Good, and then lengthen it back out and extend. Nice, everybody, come back to neutral, okay? So just draw the belly button back, bring the ribs back in line with those hips. We're gonna slide one leg away from us and tuck the toes under. All right, from here, just take a little calf stretch. Okay, so you're gonna rock back and forward, just sending the heel away from you and loading those arms a little bit. All right, keep a little bit centered and just get a little stretch into the calf. All right, bring the weight back into the hands. All right, find your center, activate that leg, point the toe, and I want you to lift that leg up, all right? Extending through that hip, draw the shoulder blades down the back, find a little bit of tummy here, breathe, lower it down, and slide it in. We'll do the same on the other side. Take the other leg away from you, tuck the toes under, and we'll just push back into that calf stretch, okay? Good. Keep a little bit centered. Keep the back of the neck long. And then from here, I want you to keep those arms loaded, keep centered, keep the hips level, point the toe. Find activity in the back line of that leg and lift it up. Hold it there, breathe. Lower it down and slide it in. Good, one more on each side, just tending the leg away. Take the opposite arm out as well this time and find your tabletop. Really reach arm and leg away from each other and then lower it down and draw it in. And we will change sides. And just reach opposite arm and leg. Yeah, if it feels too much taking the arm away, just work the leg, lower it down, draw it back in. Well done, push back into a rest position. Take your knees wide. Push your bottom back to your heels and reach your arms forward and breathe here. Breathing out and into that stretch. And you can walk your fingertips away from you a little bit more. And again, take a breath there. Breathing out and into that stretch. When you're ready, just tuck the tailbone under and round the spine. All right, I want you to tuck your toes under and just sit back, okay, onto the balls of your feet. 
Right from here, you're going to have your hands on the floor in front of you. We're going to just take the um, sit bones up towards the ceiling, loading those legs. You might be able to get the legs straight, you might not. And then you're going to bend the knees and come back into that crouched position. And then we'll do that one more time, just straightening the legs, sending the heels down, invert the spine, good. And then bring yourself back down. All right, this time I want you to just come up into a kind of medium crouched position. Bring your feet to the floor now. So your heels are connected, the balls of your feet connected. You can have your chest just resting on your knees. Okay, take a breath in. As you breathe out, I want you to tuck your tailbone under. Start to unravel the pelvis and the spine as you straighten your legs up and come up to standing bone by bone. I'm just going to move away so you can see my head. All right, we're going to take one more roll down from here. Feet hip width apart, weight nice and even. All right, be in a good neutral alignment through the spine. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, draw the chin in, length through the crown of the head, and you're just going to peel that spine forward, bone by bone. Keep a nice connection through your center. Bringing yourself forward, flexing through the hips, come as far as you want to down towards the floor. If you need to bend your knees here, then please do. That's absolutely fine. Take a moment, take a breath. And as you breathe out, find a little bit of energy through your feet, up through your legs. Bring your pelvis back to neutral and bone by bone, we stack your spine all the way. All right, take a breath in, keep even weight through your feet, float your arms out to the side, reach them up and clasp them behind your head. Breathe in to shrug, breathe out to release. Open those elbows, send the arms up, look up and float those arms back down by your side. We'll just do that one more time. Take the arms out and round, reach them up, clasp them behind your head, breathe in to shrug, breathe out, release. Open the elbows, send those arms up, look up, and float those arms all the way back down by your side. Give your shoulders a roll, and that is um, done for today's mini workout. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much for joining me. Take care. Bye for now.